Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and today we're going to learn how to add the rapid photo slideshow effect to your project. All this can be done using the tools included with Final Cut Pro, with no need to download or install any plugins. Let's jump right in and get started. Command click all the still images you want to use for this in your media browser and add them to your timeline. Press Command A to select all your clips and Control D to set the clip duration. Let's make each still image about 10 frames long, so type in 1, 0, and press Enter. With all your clips selected, hold down the Option key and drag up to duplicate all your clips. Press V to disable your top clips for now. Select all the clips in the bottom row again, and in the Video Inspector, scroll down to Spatial Conform and change this to Fill to fill your video frame. Select your first clip, press Command 5 to open the Effects Browser, and from the Blurs category, select the Gaussian Blur effect. Add this to your clip, and if necessary, adjust the blur amount. Now, we need to apply this effect to all the other clips. Instead of doing this one by one, we can just copy and paste the attributes from our first clip. Press Command C to copy your clip, select your second clip, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last clip to select everything in between. Press Shift Command V to paste the attributes, and in the pop up window, deselect everything except for the blur effect. Click Paste to apply it to all your clips. This will be our background for our slideshow. Select your top row of clips, and press V to re enable them. Select your first clip, and in the Video Inspector, change the Scale All value to 90%. Go to your Effects Browser, and search for the Simple Border effect. Add this to your clip and change the border color to white. Next, back in the Effects Browser, search for the Drop Shadow effect. Add this to your clip, and adjust the angle and opacity of your drop shadow. Let's press Command C to copy this clip, and paste the effects applied to this clip to all the other clips. Select the remaining clips in your top row, press Shift Command V to paste attributes, Make sure Simple Border, Drop Shadow, and the Transform values are selected, and click Paste. To layer our images, we need to ripple trim our clips out to the end of the bottom row. Your timeline will get pretty tall here, so I find it helps to switch a timeline view to Labels Only. Grab the end handle of your first clip, and ripple trim it out to the end. Repeat this for the rest of your clips. Let's also change the rotation of all these clips to make our pile a bit messy. Select your first clip, and change your rotation value by just a little bit, maybe about 3 degrees. Select your next clip, and change your rotation to a different value, maybe negative 1. Repeat this for the rest of your clips, making the rotation value slightly different for each clip. A little bit goes a long ways here, so I wouldn't go much more than 3 degrees either way, and try to alternate positive and negative values. Next, let's animate our images into the slideshow. Select the start of your first clip, Go to the Transitions browser, and from the Movement category, select the Spin Transition. Add this to the start of your first clip, and ripple trim it until it's about 5 frames long. Select this transition, press Command C to copy it, and paste it at the start of every clip above. A few more steps to make this look even better. First, let's ripple trim out the first bottom clip for a small pause before our slideshow. Also, to keep the finished pile on screen for a bit, Ripple trim out the last clip by about a second, and all the clips on top of it to match it. Go back to your bottom row, and add a cross dissolve between the first two clips. Make the duration of this transition about 5 frames. Copy it, and paste it between the rest of your clips. To make our slideshow flow smoother, we need to line up the transitions between our bottom clips with the top transitions. If we try to make our first clip longer, it just moves all the clips with it, and messes with our timing. Now, this is one of the very few times I'm going to recommend using a different method of editing. And trust me when I say this, I don't take this lightly. Matthew O'Brien is going to be pissed about this. He's using the gap clip method. He's a traitor and deserves no respect. Select all your clips in the bottom row, and press Option Command up arrow to lift them out of your primary timeline. This adds a gap clip in our timeline, with everything above it connected to this gap clip, so we can move our clips without moving everything that's connected to them. Hover over the end of your first transition until you see a film strip icon, and ripple trim this out until all your transitions line up. To finish off our slideshow, let's add a camera shatter effect at the start of every image. Render out your timeline for this rapid photo slideshow effect. 
If you found this video helpful and you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials just like this one. New videos uploaded every week, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.